when you meditate, we're building perfections into the mind. In fact, you can look at every aspect of life as a way of building perfections. When you have challenges, okay, you're learning about determination, you're learning about persistence. When you're dealing with other people, you have to, again, deal with endurance, goodwill, equanimity. You're putting forth energy of the mind, energy of the body, and you're getting something good in return. So always have that perspective that when you're working on something, it's not just a waste of energy. If your attitude is wrong, it is a waste of energy. But if your attitude is right, that you're actually developing good things in the mind, things that you can take with you, things that will help in your meditation, help in your practice at large, then heavy tasks become a lot lighter. And it's a lot easier to find a sense of satisfaction in what you're doing. So look at every activity around here in the monastery as an opportunity to develop perfections. We're not just here to sit with our eyes closed. As John Lee used to say, when you live in a monastery, you have to make your eyes as big as the monastery. See what needs to be done. If there's no one else doing it, well, there's your chance. There's a lot of good that can be done in the world that people are not doing. Things are getting left undone. Look at that as a wide open opportunity. Other people aren't developing their perfections, well that's their business. You're going to develop yours. If you have that kind of attitude, then whatever work you take on becomes good work. Because the energy of the body is something that we have only had so much of. You want to invest it well, and the best way to invest it is to developing good qualities in the mind. And if you have the right attitude, lots of good qualities can come even in simple tasks. So look at every task in the monastery, every task that you do in your life, as an opportunity to develop perfections. Because when you think about the perfections, it gives meaning to your life. Otherwise, think about the Buddha on the night of his awakening. He saw his previous lifetimes, he saw that he was born, and then he had these pleasures and these pains. He ate this kind of food, and then he died. That's just it. Birth, pleasure, pain, food, death. Not much. And apparently he reflected further and he saw that he wasn't just eating and eating and having pleasure and pains and dying. He was also trying to develop something good in his mind. Good qualities of the heart. When you develop those qualities, then that's a life well spent. The energy that goes into that is energy well spent. You're learning how to invest your strength in the right way. So make sure you approach everything with the right attitude, that you can benefit from this. The mind can develop its own strengths. The heart can develop its own strengths. That way the work of the world becomes the work of your mind. Your life takes a direction. Remember the Buddha said one of the blessings of life is that you direct yourself rightly. And this is how you do it. Instead of amassing wealth, you amass inner wealth. You amass the perfections inside, and the more you develop those, it doesn't count as greed. It counts as initiative, which the Buddha said is a source for true happiness. So always keep that right attitude in mind. Heavy work becomes light, light work becomes almost weightless. Because the mind is growing in strength, the heart is growing in strength.